Welcome to Test Drive. This is a new segment that will be on the Geek Builders channel where every now and then we'll be taking products that we get a hold of and put them through their paces and do some sort of a, a mild review. And today we're looking at a product called Creation Crate. This is a subscription box service that has some sort of electronics project in every single box that you get. This is not a sponsored video. My co-host for the Making Geeks podcast, Josh Price, had reached out to Creation Crate a couple months ago to get a couple valuation boxes to see what their product was all about. And I never opened mine. So I thought that we'd open it today, take a look at it, and see what's inside. Inside each box is a self-contained electronics project. At least for this version, it doesn't seem like there's anything special about the packaging. Just a simple label here, wrapped in bubble wrap. So let's see what we have on the box. It looks like we have a breadboard, some sort of mini electronics board, the material for a paper lantern, a couple of LEDs and a resistor, a couple stickers, instruction booklet, which I guess this one is a mood lamp, kind of weird, single card instructions, some ribbon wire, and a USB cable. The one nice thing that I could tell about some of these components is that you're going to be able to reuse some of these for other projects even if you don't keep the project together that was intended for this specific box. So there's the breadboard. The instruction said to separate all the wires, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And the first thing that we're supposed to do is go ahead and take out our LEDs. And we're supposed to place them in a the row. Let's see, let's get this oriented the same way. I probably should have snipped these connectors here on the resistor but I haven't worked with electronic components in quite a while. So, let's see if we can keep everything intact. So at this point, we have a red, green, and blue LED, a 2.2K resistor, and a photoresistor, which, let's see if we can get on the camera right there. Okay, so now that everything's hooked up, the last thing to do is to connect the board to the computer. It connects via USB cable, and the USB cable powers the board in this instance. There's also an option to power it by an external AC adapter, but the USB cord works fine for right now. Now, I already have some code running on the board, which is why you already see some things happening with the lights. But let's see if we can actually work to kind of flush all that out. The instruction book walks through how to download the software for Arduino. And you get it through Arduino's website. And once you get it downloaded, it opens up into an environment that looks like this. Except yours will probably look like this. Opening up into a fresh new environment. Per the instructions, you're supposed to delete all the code that's there and go ahead and type in the new code. In the instruction book, they have the entire code library there, well, not the entire code library, but they have all the code there that you need to actually make the lamp work. All the code is highlighted in red, and if you want, you could go through and actually type everything line by line. And in some cases, that actually might be a pretty good exercise, but after typing about five lines of code, I decided, hey, you know what? 
I have this thing called the internet, so you might as well use it. I went online and actually found the entire code already pre-typed and I just simply copied and pasted it. So let's go ahead and open up the previous project where I already have the code typed. And there it is. The coding environment looks pretty simple. It looks almost similar to what you would see for HTML code or like JavaScript. Um, in fact, it's probably based off of Java. Uh, off of Java. Now, before I just used the code, I went by line by line and verified it was the same that it was in the instructions to make sure that everything should work. Now, once you have all this, if you want, you can compile it here by hitting the check mark, and it will compile the code. Once it's done compiling, it'll say done compiling here. And then you can actually open the sketch and upload it to the actual board. Now, if it works correctly, it should say done uploading with no errors. Uh, when I first tried this, it actually did generate a couple errors. And for anybody that is new at this type of environment or new to programming, this might be a little bit frustrating because you may not know how to go through and troubleshoot. But that is kind of the point of this entire process, is learning how electronics work and learning how the code communicates with the board. But I would recommend trying to get a hold of the original code first, make sure that all your wires are plugged in correctly, and then try uploading again. The errors that I initially got, I'm still not even sure entirely what they were, but I went through and made sure that my pins were all in the right places. I think I had one pin that was uh, out of place. Once I fixed that, I was able to upload it without any problem. And you can see here that once I uploaded the code, the light works. So overall impressions. This is a pretty good way to get started in the world of development boards, learning how to prototype and putting together circuits. Now this is only the first in the series of their boxes. I haven't had a chance to check out what else they've released. I don't know if they make use of some of the same parts or what the other projects look like, but this is a pretty good starting spot for the company. So if you're interested, I have a link to Creation Crate's site down below in the description. And if you like this video, I have a playlist of different builds and things that I've made over the last two years. Go ahead and check those videos out and hit the bell to be notified anytime I release a new video. And go ahead and check out geekbuilders.net. Check out the store. I have stickers and other items for sale. Any support and views definitely helps. Thank you. I'll see you next time.